is uh, at the moment, maybe the most important thing in our state. And that is our ability to have a vigorous, robust, timely testing, contact tracing and isolation a plan across the state of Washington. And we are committed to that. We're gonna have a much more detailed review with you either uh, Monday afternoon or Tuesday, I believe. I believe it's gonna be Tuesday to roll out that plan exactly what it will look like. Uh, it's going to involve hundreds of members of the Washington National Guard, members of the Department of Licensing, local Department of Health, and state departments of health working all in unison and uh, we're going to continue to build from there. I'm glad we've been on top of this because this is extremely important. I'll mention one thing about that plan, if I may, because I think it's going to be coming increasingly important. And that is that uh, we want to do the testing, which is step one. We want to do the contact tracing, which is step two, to contact people who may have been infected. But the third is isolation. And I just today want to mention this today. We are going to have a lot of families that will need to isolate for 14 days when it turns out that they're positive. And even before they're tested, we're going to need people to isolate while you're waiting to get the test returns back. And this is going to be really challenging for some families and we're going to have to help them and support them. Because when a person is positive, if they decide to isolate at home rather than in another location that the state may provide, they uh, obviously have a high level of transmission to their household members. So that means household members are going to, to have to isolate with them at home. And our success in this endeavor, our ability to avoid this pain again, a large degree is going to depend on those families' success and willingness and the ability of us all to help those families so that they're secure for 14 days in their homes. That means not trips to the grocery store, trips to families' houses. So that's gonna be a challenge for us and uh, I hope we're all gonna help those families.